many times I'm asked if I were to take just one supplement, would it, what would it be? Um, I've kind of struggled with this question over the years because there are two that I feel like are really, really, really critical for um, overall health. Um, however, since improperly digested foods is the largest source of toxicity in our body, um, I have finally decided that a good plant-based digestive enzyme has kind of um, become critical. And there's a couple reasons for this, um, one of which all cooking and processing um, of food destroys the enzymes that were were present um, in the food. The other reason um, is the process of irradiation, and irradiation is the chemical process by which food manufacturers are destroying enzymes present in the food so they can um, store it longer, you know, so they can ship it across the country. You know, I kind of joke with people, you know, we live in Georgia and we can't get a good peach in Georgia because they're all trucked to California. Here, you know, in Georgia we get California peaches, um, which, no offense, are quite horrible, um, mainly because they weren't, they weren't um, ripened, just like um, even good good Georgia peaches to Californians are probably nasty for the same reason. Um, they're not, they're not actually um, ripe. Um, so irradiation is the process which they destroy the enzymes purposefully um, so they can preserve the shelf life. It's my understanding that now even organically grown foods can now be irradiated without um, them losing their um, their organic certification. So it's really gotten to be a huge problem. Another issue um, is in this country, we kind of eat just on to the next thing, on to the next thing. You know, we just kind of choke down our food. Nobody choose properly you know we all generally chew just enough to not choke and then down it goes um so because mechanical digestion is not there through chewing um because of that our bodies require more chemical digestion therefore you know depending more and more on enzymes the older we get the less um, pancreatic enzymes our pancreas can produce so it eventually puts a a significant strain on both the pancreas and ultimately the liver um, and um, you know we've all kind of heard the the saying you know you are what you eat I have Long since, I guess I recoined that phrase probably going on about four or five years now to be we are what we eat, what we assimilate, and what we don't eliminate. Um, and, you know, each of those things is very important. I could take a really good, you know, I could take supplements all day long, but if I'm not assimilating those nutrients, and I see this all the time with clients, um, you know, they don't have good digestion, you know, digestion. Frequently, they'll be taking, um, you know, they'll have hormonal issues, so they're, you know, taking essential fatty acids. And they're like, ah, oh, you know, it just, it gives me heartburn, and I, you know, or, you know, times that they'll even vomit, they'll have, um, you know, bile flushes, they'll have um, gallbladder attacks, all sorts of interesting issues with this, and it's because they cannot digest the fat, the extra fat that they're putting in, which is good fat, but it's only good if you can digest it and assimilate it, and that's true of all food. Um, 
you know, what's a good wholesome food to one person is toxic and a potential food allergen to somebody else who can't digest it and assimilate it. So that is one of the biggest reasons for um, adding digestive enzymes. So not only can you get all of the nutrients assimilated from your food, but also whatever other supplements you choose to take as well. Okay, I'm back. Um, this time we have just some plain uh, fruit on the bottom yogurt. Um, just your average um, run-of-the-mill commercial stuff. This happens to be black cherry, I think. Um, and we'll see what happens um, to the yogurt. I'm just going to add a capsule to, again, the one with the fancy spoon. Oops. And I just spilled half the enzymes all over myself. <laughs> That's okay. Um, this into the yogurt. Here we are back with our yogurt um, and you know I didn't even have to finish up this demonstration to see but the interesting thing you know obviously this is definitely about the consistency of whole milk um, but the interesting thing is even this the uh, cherries that were in there are now um, just about totally digested. Um, the only parts that are left is basically the cellulose, um, you know, just the skins themselves. Most of the, um, the flesh of the cherries have uh, been completely degraded from the enzymes. Um, obviously that was what was treated and this is just your standard oatmeal, I'm um, not oatmeal, uh, yogurt, which has broken down a little bit just because it's, you know, from the warmth of sitting out, um, it's not quite as thick and creamy as it, you know, once was just because it's, again, warmed up. Um, so that's how our, our, uh, yogurt fared. This is just your average, um, run-of-the-mill commercial, um, quick cooking, uh, oatmeal. Um, and this is then allowed to sit for just a couple minutes so it's already starting to thicken up um, you know we have roughly the same amount again I am gonna put a, an enzyme uh, the enzymes we use is as far as I'm concerned the absolute best enzyme on the market and uh, it's only available through healthcare practitioners, and it is Allegheny, uh, new from Allegheny Nutrition. Hopefully, I can do this without making a mess. Okay, here we are um, back with the oatmeal, um, and if you guys can see this, this is the and treated oatmeal and as you can see it is nice and thick and gloppy um, the um, the oatmeal that has been treated with the digestive enzymes trying not to make a mess of this you can see is almost completely liquid 
And basically, you know, that's what happens in our stomachs um, when there's proper um, enzymatic activity.